Ha, Auntie Obi. Welcome. He hasn't come back from work. I hope there's no problem. What do you mean? Can't I visit my brother's house again? No, oh, Auntie, I'm sorry. It's just that I didn't know you were coming. Hey! Oh, so I have to obtain a visa from you before I can visit my brother's house, eh? brother does suffer. So because it is Onubusu, he has to be so bitter like your will. Abege, I like the soup you it is. I don't like it. It will surely punch me. Maybe I'll just drink tea and go to sleep. Abege, maybe you teach us how to I'm not teaching anything. I don't want anybody to beat me up. Can't you see the way your wife is already looking at you? Don't mind now. Yeah, I like this bread. Like it. My son anymore. It is fruitless. You have sent the center beggarly and the girl refused to come. Ah, you want to go and waste more of my money for nothing. If there's any reason why the girl is not pregnant, Amobi is in a better position to know. It is not a doctor. medical problem, it is a spiritual problem. That's what the pastor says. Ever since you started this your spiritualist and prophets thing, you have brought trouble inside this house. I'm not giving you any more money. You must give me money. I have to go. I said I'm not giving you anymore. I'm, I will follow you anywhere you go to. I'll follow you. <laughs> no. Yes. No. Oh, God, baby. Okay, my dear. Let's just drop the phone for some people to kill me. Yes. Bye. Rosemary. Come here. Rosemary, do you know you're a very rude girl? Just because you saw me making a phone call, you nearly developed a heart attack. Common phone call for just one minute. I was expecting my husband's call. <laughs> Are you married? Did you not force yourself on my brother? Please, it's your begging. Leave me alone. Why are you after me? What have I done to you? I should be the one asking you that. Pretender. 
You pretend to be so holy and innocent when in fact you're a slow poison. Santa Wenwe, I got the Quenga. Go and marry. I'm in my husband's house. Look at this. You jacked this old harlot talking to me. Why were you sent out of the convent? Answer me why? Was it not because you were chasing my brother up and down? What? We have seen the result today. Conceive and let me see. You have damaged everything. You who have not damaged anything. Marry, let us see. Hmm? Look at you. Old age is telling on you. You're waiting for Mr. Right that will never come. Nagalo, father will marry. Eh? Are you putting a cock on That's why you are crying. Isn't that what she deserves? What does the Bible say? Honor your father and your mother. Because she didn't do that, that's why she's facing the music. Oh my, hasn't she suffered enough? So what do I do? Rush to Enugu and proceed before her. Eh? Look, Dorothy, don't provoke me. That girl is no longer my daughter. She is no longer my daughter! You can go and feed her if you think she's dying of hunger. No sense. But if you do that, make sure you don't come back here. Please. I don't want to finish with you. Eh? Please. Eh? You don't uh. say anything yet. Okay. I said it. <laughs> eh? I said it. Oh. Why are you? Ah <laughs> uh ah. -uh. Give me. Stop.
Mama is here. Mama! Mama, what do you like to eat? Mm, anything, Rose. Anything, my daughter. Oh. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. All right. I'm coming. Hey, I'm okay. I'm okay, I'm okay. Oh. Hey, Mama. I'm okay. 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 I'm no, 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 You can leave the drink for now. I'll eat when Rose finishes cooking. I'll wait. I have come for a more important matter. Uh, so what could happen? Hmm. Amodi. I went somewhere because of her condition. And they say, she has a spiritual problem. So I have come to take her. Mama, I don't know you to be a pagan. When did you start visiting native doctors? <laughs> I didn't visit any Dibia, my son. I visited a prophet, a man of God. And he said your wife has a spiritual problem. So she needs spiritual bath. Mama, we are okay. We don't have any problem. At God's chosen time, my wife will conceive. After two years? Two years, Amobi. Eh? Because... Amobi, let me take her. They will only give her the spiritual bath and she will give you children. Look, I have stopped living in darkness since I saw the light shining wah at my doorstep. Pico, let me take her. Well... Talk to Rose. Whatever she says is okay by me. Talk to Rose. What do you mean by talk to Rose? Are you not her husband? The man of the house? Look, Amobi, what you need to do is tell her what to do and she will do it. Mama, it is not like that. I respect my wife and her feelings. Hey. I see. Tell me. I now believe her again. So, she is not your husband. You fear her. No wonder you had to disgrace your sister, Begili, uh, because of her. Don't talk about Begili here. Don't you bring up Begili's matter here if you want us to have peace. How? Oh, co, co, co. Oh! Ah! Thank you. Rose, my dear. What I'm saying is that this problem is not ordinary. It is spiritual. There's a man of God that will give you spiritual cleansing. And you can now conceive and bear children like your fellow women. Mama, what is spiritual cleansing? Just prayers. Hot prayers. Because I don't want anything that is against my faith in God. Look, Rose. Is prayer against your faith? Oh, the Holy Bible. Is it against your faith? It's just that I don't want... Uh... Just do it for me. And you just con you get you, you will conceive and bear children for me. Look, Rose, I want to carry your children. Please. 
do it for me. Oh, Vico. waste our time. Other people are waiting. Don't waste our time. Because I can bear a child for my husband. Oh God of Abraham, 
Isaac and Jacob. He said in your word that when we ask, it shall be given unto us. When we seek, we will find. And when we knock, it shall be open unto us. God of knocking before you at the door of your mighty blessings. Hannah cried before you for a child, and you gave her a child, Samuel, who served you all his life. God, please give me my own child. I promise that I will dedicate him to your service. And everything he does will be to your glory. All this I pray. Through Jesus Christ our Lord.
Good evening, ma. Good evening, my dear Rose. How are you? Fine, thank you. Rose, my friend here says her son, Dr. Amobi, won't see your hand in marriage. Marriage? God forbid. I just want to serve God for the rest of my life. I've never dreamt of living with a man. It's not possible, ma. I'm sorry, ma. Jesus. What happened? Why did I abandon my calling? I remember I quarreled with my parents, then got married. It all feels like a dream now. I can't understand why it all happened. Why did I suddenly hate the thought of becoming a reverend sister? God. What happened to me? Ross? Yeah. So it was your voice I was hearing. I thought I was dreaming. Are you alright? Yes, I'm fine. You've been acting very strangely. Is it uh, because of what Mama did? No, nothing. No. I'm fine. There's something, Rosie. Come on, talk to me. I am your husband, you know. And you know I love you. I love you too, but there's nothing. Okay? meeting when I left with Mabel. Mm. Uh -huh. That was the day at the corner there. I had something like electric shock on my leg and and I fell down. Yes. And I couldn't get up again. No. And I could not even put my, my leg on this leg on, on the ground anymore. Mm. Mabel helped me to and brought me home. She just managed and since that time, my whole body, my whole body has been as if it's on fire. What is happening, Biko? I don't know. What is the meaning of all this? Oh, I'm a woman. You don't own one name. Oh. Uh, Rita, please go and get me some water to drink. You don't own one. 